We're going to look at making clay monster pots. The first thing you need is a container that will work for putting your pot around. The second thing you need is a piece of tape with your name on it. You can use Sharpie or pen or whatever works. You're going to put the piece of tape inside so that you have access to your name later when you need it. Then we're gonna take a piece of saran wrap and we're going to put it right over the top. Okay, we're gonna push it down. And then any of the ends will wrap around the inside. Well, the next step's kind of important, otherwise the saran wrap will bunch up a little bit. We're gonna take a piece of tape, masking tape, scotch tape will do. And we're going to go around to keep that saran wrap in place. Okay, if it doesn't go all the way around, it's fine. Okay, if it's a little poofy up here, it's okay. We just wanna keep that in place. Then you're going to roll out a coil. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You're gonna roll out a slab of clay. You're going to lay that down right in the middle okay when you do that you can see some areas where the clay gets a little stress where the top of the pot is okay we're going to really gently push that down you can see the cracks start to form that's okay we can get rid of those later okay and you can also just push this side down and smooth it the way i like to do this is tear the clay in to where the base is and push one down and then push the other on top. So again, I'm gonna tear the clay, push one piece down and then put the other over top. You can do it a different way. That's the way I'm choosing to do it. Okay, again, I'm gonna push, I'm gonna smooth out the bottom If you do this and the clay rips a little bit on the bottom, that's fine. Just take some clay from another area and fill that tear. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna keep my hand on the inside so I can support it. And I'm gonna bring my clay down to the edge or past the edge. If you're finding your clay is too thin to do this, you might have to roll another slab or get some more clay where you can just fill in the pieces that have gaps.
Okay, so when you're at the point where most of that is smooth, you're going to take the wooden dowel tool and we need to cut the top where we want the pot to end. Remember they're monster pots, so it's okay if it's a little jaggedy. Okay, when I get back from where to where I started, I can peel off that extra. I'm going to take that extra clay, I'm going to roll it into a ball, set it aside. Then, if I still have time today, I'm going to go ahead and cut out where you want the mouth to be. And whatever shape you want the mouth in. I'm going to take that clay out. I'm going to smooth that edge back. Okay, and then this extra clay that I have, I'm going to put all in a ball. And then I'm going to keep that inside here for now.